Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about some of Apple's most exciting new announcements from the Worldwide Developers Conference 2023. Now obviously everybody's talking about the Vision Pro, Apple's new augmented reality headset. However, a lot has changed in the Mac gaming space as well. So today I'm going to be talking about seven of the biggest Mac gaming announcements that have happened at this WWDC and how this is going to change Mac gaming forever. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing we're going to look at is the fact that we have a whole bunch of brand new Mac hardware announced, some of which is going to push Mac gaming to its absolute limit. This includes the brand new MacBook Air 15 inch with the M2 chip, but more interestingly, we have the refresh of the Mac Studio, as well as the announcement for the new Apple Silicon Mac Pro which now includes the refresh for the M2 Ultra, Apple Silicon's most powerful chip. This new hardware is composed of two M2 Max chips fused together into a single ultra powerful chip. The M2 Ultra delivers 20% faster CPU performance than the M1 Ultra, and it supports an enormous 192 gigabytes of unified memory. And finally, this can be configured with up to 76 GPU cores. And whilst I seriously doubt anyone's actually gonna be buying an M2 Ultra in order to do gaming, these advancements show what might be possible in future iterations of Apple Silicon and what kind of potential performance a new baseline M3 might have well into the future. And following this, we have the announcement for the next version of the Mac operating system called macOS Sonoma. And in Sonoma, we have a bunch of new updates and features, including changes to video conferencing with the inclusion of things like presenter overlay, as well as some changes to Safari, including the removal of trackers. We also have new screen savers, as well as a new desktop widget system too. And also a lot of features shared from the iOS and iPad OS updates too. But what about Apple Silicon Mac gaming? Next, let's talk about gaming. So definitely the most interesting feature about macOS Sonoma is the fact that we now have a game mode. This is something that you're going to be able to toggle on that allows the operating system to prioritize a game's CPU and GPU allocation. It does this by lowering usage for background tasks so that the game can take advantage of the Apple Silicon Mac chip. This is going to result in higher and more consistent frame rates. And not only this, game mode also offers dramatically lower audio latency with AirPods and significantly reduces input latency with popular controllers like Xbox and PlayStation controllers by doubling the Bluetooth sampling rate. And these features are going to be available to all macOS games. And speaking of games, we have a surprise announcement from the man Hideo Kojima himself, creator of Metal Gear Solid, here himself at WWD announcing to the world that they've been working hard on a Mac port of their game Death Stranding Director's Cut. So this game is going to be released on the Mac later this year and apparently it's going to be taking full advantage of Apple's latest technologies including the Metal 3 graphics API and the graphical advantages delivered by Metal FX Upscaling and it looks like this game is going to work really well on Apple Silicon Macs. And what's really interesting is that Kojima says that he hopes that other game creators take advantage of the Apple Silicon Mac's powers. And not only this, that they are also planning to bring future titles to Apple platforms. So I can only speculate here, but it looks like Death Stranding 2 might get a future Mac release. And speaking of games, a whole load of different games were being shown in this screenshot here. If you look closer, you can see a whole bunch of very recently announced or very recently released Mac games, including of course Resident Evil Village from last year, No Man's Sky which got a native ARM macOS port last week, and a bunch of future ports including the new Layers of Fear remake, the post-apocalyptic cat game Stray, as well as other games like SnowRunner, The Medium, Dreamlight Valley, Dragon Air Silent Gods, Firmament, Humankind, World of Warcraft, and Elex 2. And expect to see a whole load of new games being ported to macOS because Apple have poured a whole bunch of resources in creating something called the Game Porting Toolkit. And this is going to be a new set of tools that will help the conversion process of existing games on other platforms get ported to macOS and be compatible with Apple Silicon hardware. Apple promised to simplify the conversion process and shorten development time and they say that processes that used to take months can now happen in a matter of days. And this is all extremely good news for Mac gaming because one of the biggest challenges for developers to port games to macOS is the difficulty of working with Metal and optimizing for Apple Silicon chips. So anything that's going to make this easier is going to encourage more games to come to this very capable gaming platform. So next up we're going to be talking about the Apple Vision Pro. 
Now this new augmented reality headset is definitely the star of this year's WWDC. And one of the questions I had in my head was whether this could actually play Mac VR games. Now the headset itself already has an M2 chip inside it, but that might be a little bit busy delivering the ultra high resolution displays equivalent to over 4K resolution in each eye. And Apple didn't really show off much about gaming on the Vision Pro. They say that you can play some Apple arcade games. However, these aren't particularly demanding and they don't really take advantage of the form factor of the AR headset. However, there is interconnectivity between the AR Vision headset and the Mac. Here you can see if you're using the Vision Pro, all you need to do is to look at your Mac and then the screen will appear in front of you displayed in augmented reality. Now this is just a flat image of your Mac desktop screen. However, I wonder whether it will be possible in the future to play some real virtual reality games all experiences streamed from the Mac to the Vision Pro. At the moment, all we can do is speculate, but it would definitely be a very interesting proposition if you could use something more powerful, like an M2 Max chip or an M2 Ultra, to get some modern VR games working on this headset. So anyway, those were the seven biggest Mac gaming announcements from WWDC 2023. I'm gonna be covering the developer talks that are gonna be happening throughout the week and hopefully testing out things like macOS Sonoma's game mode and looking more in depth into the very exciting game porting toolkit and what this means for the future of Mac gaming. Let me know in the comments what you thought was the best part of this WWDC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.